The big craze today in the financial space is something called a real estate syndication. Now, I get that that may sound a little like a complex term, but I can assure you by the end of this video, you're going to have a crystal clear understanding of what a syndication is and how it may be the perfect strategy for you to consider when investing in real estate. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Jeff Anzalone, a periodontist on a mission to get you out of the rat race with real estate syndications and passive income. Do me a favor, download our free passive income guide below this video. Let's start off by answering the question, what is a syndication? So picture this, you've got $100,000, your friend has $100,000, and another friend has $100,000. None of you can buy a particularly large real estate property alone, but together you actually go in and you pool your funds and you purchase it. This is exactly what I did earlier this year with a friend of mine. We both put up money to buy a mobile home park in South Louisiana. That in its most basic form is a real estate syndication. We're coming together as a group. We're pooling our resources to invest in a property that none of us could afford on our own. Got it? Now let's dive a little bit deeper and explore this concept further with a couple of real life examples. So imagine, a mobile home park that costs, let's say it costs $600,000. Now you might have $50,000, which is a lot short of the total that's needed. However, through a syndication, you can pool your $50,000 with other investors to reach that $600,000 mark and collectively buy the mobile home park. The same principle applies to an RV park. Let's say that's valued at a million dollars. Again, you may only have $50,000, but by pooling your resources with other investors through a syndication, you're able to still participate into the deal. So why would you choose syndication as an investment strategy? Well, there's, that, there's actually several benefits to consider. First, as we mentioned before, it allows you to invest in larger properties that could be out of reach individually. So we'll put larger properties. All right. Second, it offers the potential for substantial. So we'll put substantial returns on your investment, similar to what you might be earning if you were investing alone. These returns are potentially a lot higher than, than that you could potentially get out of the stock market. This is one of the reasons why I quit investing in index funds, because now I can invest in something that gives me all these tax benefits, passive income, plus much, much higher than I was getting the stock market. And third, and most importantly, it allows you to take a passive, a passive approach. So as an investor, you're not directly involved in the day-to-day -day operations, the property management, or if there's any type of value add strategy execution. As a passive investor, all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the returns on your investment. This is particularly beneficial for those who are like you and me, and other people, busy professionals or others that are not real estate experts. Suppose you're a dentist, you're an attorney, or you're a specialist in another field. In that case, you may have some extra funds sitting around in maybe like a 401k or an IRA, really not earning the returns they could be. A syndication offers an ideal platform to invest some of that money. Once you find a specialized real estate firm to handle the investment process for you. In addition to the benefits, syndications also provide consistent cash flow and allows you to take advantage of, again, significant tax benefits and depreciation that typically real estate offers. But so how does all this work? So let's, let's break this down real quick and talk about who are the two parties involved in syndication. You've got the GP or the general partner. And then you've got the, the LP, so you've got the general partner, also called the syndicator, and you've got the limited partners. These are the passive investors. This, this is you and me, the passive investors. These are the two main groups involved in a syndication. Now, the general partner or the sponsor, they're the ones that they put the deal together. They handle the closing process. If there's any type of value add strategy, they execute that property management, everything from start to finish. All right. That's what the sponsor does. Again, the limited partners or the passive investor, their role is to provide the capital to fund the project. And the best, the best part that I really love about this 
is they're hands off. You know, when I bought the, the mobile home part with my friend, you know, he, he is the one, his day to day job is he's a general partner. I am the limited partner. I'm hands off. Okay. I don't have to deal with any of the things that go involved on a daily basis. I'm a home part. Now let's dive into the mechanics of this whole process. So once a property is identified and put under a contract, the total amount of equity needed is determined. So let's say, for example, there's a three, there's a $3 million mobile home park. All right. And in this situation, the, the general partners that are going to acquire this $3 million mobile home park, and they determine that they're going to need to raise a million dollars from the passive investors. Okay. That's, that's the equity that, that they need to raise. So this, this million dollars in equity, that's going to cover the closing calls, you know, any of the fees, any of the syndication fees associated with setting up the property to generate revenue. Now, once this amount is established, now the general partners, they reach out to potential investors and then they present the opportunity to them. The investors, like the ones in our passive investor circle group, I'll put the link below the video, they're the ones that provide the necessary funds, again, to reach the desired equity of the amount. In this case, it's a million bucks. The key here is that they don't have to be experts in real estate. They only need to have the capital to invest and really just want to watch their money grow. As an investor in a syndication, your primary responsibility is to just simply provide the funds and then the rest is handled again by the sponsor. So let's revisit our previous example. So we've got the, we've got the million bucks. Okay. So you with other people, you pull your money together and now you've got this collective amount of a million dollars. So now this group of investors can participate in the syndication. Most of the time, the minimum for the syndications, at least for the ones that I've been a part of is anywhere from 50 to a hundred thousand dollar minimum investment. And most of the time, these are for accredited investors. And this is basically for your protection. Sometimes people go, well, I, I have 50,000 or I have a hundred thousand dollars, Jeff, to, to, to invest, but I'm, I'm not accredited. Why, why can't I invest? Well, these rules were put into place to protect you. So if you make $80,000 a year and you've got a hundred thousand dollars that you put in, and then the, let's say the deal goes south and you lose all your money, then that could potentially ruin somebody making $80,000 a year. But if you're an accredited investor, meaning you have, you make anywhere from two to $300,000 a year, whether you're single or you're married, or you have a net worth of a million dollars or more. So if you do lose your investment, you're more likely to recover. So that's why the, the wealthy, the, the rich are while they, where they are because they have access to these deals versus other people that aren't accredited, they don't have access to these deals. Okay. With all the tax benefits and all that. Okay. So that's, that's why that's put into place. Now, getting back to our example, most of the time, once everything starts cash flow and the profits are then distributed out on a quarterly basis, and they typically start about six months after the property closes in order to get the property stabilized. So these distributions are, are great because they give you and me, the investors, a steady stream of passive income versus putting your money in the stock market, you get no steady stream of passive income. Now, typically in these, the best, the investment period can vary, but it's anywhere from three years on the low end to anywhere from five to seven years on the high end. I would say the average that I'm in are probably about the five year mark. After, let's say it's a five year hold. After this five year hold period, the property sold. You've, you've been getting these cash flow distribu distributions all along the way. So the property sold and then the profits from the sell are distributed to the limited partners, to the passive investors, along with their initial investment back. Now, this whole process is the magic of a real estate syndication. Again, it allows you to own a larger investment that would typically be out of your reach had you want to do it on your own. It also provides the benefits of direct ownership without the headaches of the day to day management. And remember, with a syndication, you're not just investing in real estate. You're also investing in a professional team that knows how to take a property from a simple investment to a high performing asset. 
This, my friends, is the most overlooked yet most important part, finding a great trustworthy sponsor group to invest alongside with. If you want to access the groups that we personally invest with, and again, you're an accredited investor, then you should consider joining our free passive investor circle with the link below the video. Hope to see you in the group.